Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Lost in Vivo. This is a game from the creator of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, and it actually came out around three or four years ago, back in 2018. I've played a little bit of this game before, about the first hour or so, but I don't remember it too well because it was a long time ago, but I never actually finished it, and I really enjoyed what I played of it. So I thought I'd start a video series on the channel, we'll try and finish this game together, and you know, experience Lost in Vivo together on the channel. It's a bit like a PS1 era Silent Hill style game as you can probably tell from the art style and music currently playing at the moment. I think it's going to be really cool and as there's not too many horror games coming out at the moment and it's a bit of a dry patch for horror I thought great time to check this game out so sit back relax and let's dive into a new series for Lost in Vivo. So how are you feeling? Do you feel these sessions are still helping? You could try something a little more... direct. We could start in Vivo Exposure Therapy. Hmm, Vivo Exposure Therapy, okay. So obviously this character has a therapist, which is interesting. And now we're in the game. We're on a street, look at this. Just a very misty, Silent Hill looking street. And we've got a dog. A little corgi dog. That's kind of cute. So this is our companion, I'm guessing. And yeah, I'm guessing we're walking home from the therapist right now. You know, we've just seen her. She's talked about Vivo exposure therapy to us. Seems like normal therapy isn't really going that well for our character. And, you know, walking a dog is always good therapy, I think. You know, being with a cat or a dog or some kind of companion, it eases the nerves, doesn't it? So this is probably great for us. I like the music as well. It's very calming. But this seems to be just like lulling us into a false sense of security, right? I'm sure things are about to go down. Yup, there we go. We just heard the clash of thunder and lightning in the sky. It's beginning to rain. The mist is thickening up. And it's getting far darker. I feel like we need to get home soon, you know? Maybe it's time to pick that doggy up and run home. I wonder if we've got a name for this dog. He looks like a, a he looks like a Chester to me, you know. Maybe we should call him Chester. What's this? Missing. I think that says Jane, something or other, maybe. And it says last seen second of the fourteenth, oh seven. Hmm. Very tattered missing poster. The dog's barking though. He says, "Let's get home. This is not good. It's raining cats and dogs out here." But um. Oh no! It's getting. Uh, Yep, far worse. The storm is coming in, it's picking up. It's weird how there's like no, you know, it's just a wall, there's no way into these houses or anything, no gates. We're just walled into this narrow path. I hope nothing jump scares us, I hope nothing kind of comes out of the mist in front of us. Everything still good with you, dog? Little Chester. Oh, okay. The rain is really coming down now. That's actually quite loud. Look at that. Man. This is feeling eerie now. Is anyone behind us? No? Good. Okay, let's keep going. Let's proceed forward. No birds in the trees even. Man, that sound is kind of creeping me out a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. It does sound like something's behind us, but it's not. Ah, just quick, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. We need to start running here. Oh no! The dog! It's going down, uh, it's getting washed down the drain. So we're going into the sewers, okay. That was abrupt. <laughs> that was an abrupt uh, segue into the... The sewer system. Lost in vivo. Here we go. We've just gone down. At least we're out of the rain, I guess. Even though we're in the sewer system now. Press F to toggle our flashlight. Interesting that we just carry a default flashlight around with us, you know? <laughs> kind of. Not something I think to do in everyday life when I'm walking the dog. Although, I don't have a dog, but you know, if I was walking one. Maybe I would carry a flashlight. Oh look, it's that creepy character from... I think it's I'm not scared or I'm no I'm scared is the game 
That's the face of a creepy ghost in that game. My madness works. What's that? That looks like a ghost coming out of a drain. I think it's just a stain though. Don't know what all these names are, so I'm just gonna kind of ignore them. Oh! Press space to whistle. <gasps> the dog! I can hear him down here. Yeah, this game has directional audio apparently, so we kind of have to listen to where the audio is coming from and follow it. It's this way, it's this way, it's this way. Can I whistle again? Oh! This way. I can run as well, but they're very slow to run. Kind of just, it's more like a steady jog than a run. Man, I don't want to go down there. To be honest, I wouldn't be in this place to begin with. I would not, you know, I know the dog's gone down here, but imagine exploring this. Oh. Is it this way? Felt like it was this way. But I think we can only go this way. Anyone there? This feels like a jump scare moment is approaching, you know? Hello? No? Good. Man, what is that? Oh, it's just a radio, I think. Can I interact with it? I don't think so. Man, that, the sound is quite loud in this game. I'm getting out of here. Press I to check inventory. Oh yeah, here we go. We got a flashlight. My dog's leash, it got torn on the broken sewer grate. Keyring, the keyring that holds all the keys I have. Lost tape one, an old tape I found at home. If I find a tape player, I should listen to it. The pound is written on it. Pound? Okay, like a dog pound. Interesting. What's this? We got like a mallet? Pick it up. Hey, a sledgehammer. There we go, nice. Can we hit this? Yep. I don't hear the dog anymore. It's gone silent. Chester, where are you, boy? What is that? That is creepy. Like a demonic rabbit. You get really turned around in these sewers. It's kind of confusing. I thought that was someone lent up against the wall again, then. It's just a little bit of mold coming out of the grate. See, there's no sound of a... like, no... Oh! There is a sign of a dog. I was gonna say there's no, like, uh, sign of a dog anymore, but... We just heard him coming from this direction. Down here? See, now he's quiet again. Oh god, someone else is whistling, that's not me, guys. I'm running. Yeah, this feels... this feels really bad. This feels really scary. Nothing's even happening yet. Uh, hello? What is this? We got a note. Read. There's not much on the TV nowadays, so I thought I'd make my own show. I started putting food and rancid meat in the useless old box, and all sorts of little critters would come and play. It was really relaxing to just sit on the sofa and watch them eat, but the small critters started attracting larger ones to the show. Some horrid, putrid thing kept coming by to watch, so I just pretend to be asleep till it passed. But I think it knows I'm awake. I think it's watching me, not the show on the TV. And that is kind of creepy. So this guy that lives down here, I guess he's like some homeless person or something, has been putting food, as you can see, in the TV and just watching like the maggots and the flies on it and stuff. Then something bigger came along and started watching him. I don't know what, you know, I don't know what that is, but it doesn't fill me with the greatest of confidence, you know, hearing these things. Um, oh, there's another note. Can we read this? My eyes are useless. All they do is sting and show me stuff that can't be real. If that rancid thing wants them, then I say, let it have them. So he sacrificed his eyes to whatever the thing is. 
I'm guessing we're going to encounter it soon. Got a grate here. Great. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, we can't seem to go this way. Oh, we can go up this way. Okay. Keep calm. Keep cool. Stay focused. We're down here for the dark. Keep going. What's this? Oh my god. What the heck? Bro, stay back. Man, that was nuts. I just heard this sound and I turned around. It looks like that guy is... It looks like they're the same guy, right? He's lost his eyes. Yeah, look. Maybe it's a woman. I don't know. It could be a woman. We just knocked him out. I don't know if I should have done that, but they were coming straight for me, you know? Okay. Uh, that's kind of creepy. Oh, our dog. Hey. No, what the heck? Who's taking him? What the heck? This is very strange. I think he's gone into there. Probably not going to fit through that little hole ourselves, so I guess we go this way. Oh. Little disco going on in that room there. Um, I'll go this way. Can I hear the dog? Nope. I like where we can call out to the dog, but it doesn't seem to really do much. Because he's a bit far gone right now. This music's kind of creepy as well, you know? It's kind of, uh... Oh, catching me off guard a little bit. What's in there? I can hear something, but I can't see it. There's, like, something breathing in there. Hopefully these uh, little fences will keep them out. Will keep them from attacking us. What's this? All hope abandon ye who enter. That doesn't sound promising. What does that say? I can't even read that. Ugh. It's a lot of rancid meat right there. I think we have to go inside. I don't think we get much of a choice. So we'll just keep going forwards. Man, I don't like the sound of that. I don't know what it is. It's like some weird noise behind us. Dude, what the heck is that? Ah! Oh no. Man, I hate games like this where something's chasing you and you don't know what it looks like. I find that scarier than if I do know what it looks like, you know? Ooh. Look at this. What is this? This is like a summoning circle or something. We've got a hole to drop down. We actually meant to go down? I'm going down. This thing's chasing us. Um, this way? Okay, let's keep going forward. Very claustrophobic. Imagine you just go into the sewers and this... What is that? Oh, okay, that is strange. That's like a giant cockroach. What's in this one? Uh, I don't even want to know what that is. At least they're locked away. Can't go that way. Yeah, imagine coming down to the sewers and you go deeper and deeper and you find all this stuff. Not to mention you clobber, like, some homeless person to death by accident. I don't know which way to go. This way? Is this where we've already been? I'm really confused now. Wait, something's got out, I've just realised. That one's broken open. I'm just going to keep heading down. And hope we don't encounter anything. It's so confusing, I just have no idea where I'm going anymore. Everything looks the same. Are we safe now? Oh, this looks new. This definitely looks for like the right way to go. Or the wrong way, depending on how you want to look at it. Oh. Pick up. 
I picked up the handgun. Oh, sweet. So, I've got a handgun now. Interesting. Who's coming for us? Man, this is actually unnerving me a little bit. If I see anything, I'm going to cap it. Oh, there's the dog. Doggy. Hello. Oh. Interesting. We're in a safe place, I think. I think this is a save room. Yeah, look, save. Oh, this is kind of nice. It's kind of peaceful. Got candles. Statue of an angel, which makes me feel happy and safe. It's like a little church chapel or something, I don't know. So, save, I guess. Game saved, nice, sweet. Back out into the unknown, I suppose, then. Just go forward again. At least we've got a gun. We seem to be going up and out of the sewers now. What is this? Is this like a train station? It looks like a subway or something. Yeah, it's definitely a subway. Nice. And we've got the transit office over here. Which is locked. Looks like we can only go down at the moment. So, head down. Oh! The train's going. What the heck is that? He's got a dog. Or she's got a dog. I don't know if that's a, a man or a woman, but it's a patient of some kind. We've got the office key. Unlocked. Nice. Okay. So, what are we doing in here? Oh, station closed. Let's uh, examine that and open the station. I like how it has the sound effects of those kind of classic old school horror games as well. Oh look, we've got a spooky Jumpscare Mansion poster as well. That's kind of cool. Right, I guess we go downstairs then. And there's another train now, nice. Let's get on it. And it's just going by itself. Okay. Now I'm not so sure that it was a good idea to get on the train. I'm going to have a wonder up and down it. Make sure no one else is on it. Okay. Interesting. I want to see if there's any notes we can pick up on this train. I can't see inside. Okay. Who is conducting the train? That's what I want to know. I want to know who's running this thing. We've got a note here. And it says, I don't want to go. I just want to stay on this train. I want to stay in the dark where no one can see me. That's from the 2nd of the 14th, 07. Well, I kind of want to stay on the train too. It feels a bit safer than out there. What the heck is that? Whoa. Did someone just jump under the train? I can't see inside, so okay. I feel like someone just went under the train. It's stopping. Okay. The lights are out. Guys, I think we have to get off the train. I'm gonna head to the front of the train now. We might have to walk the rest of the way to the station. Yep, we're outside. I don't know which way we need to go. Maybe this way? Just hope the train doesn't start moving again is all I'll say, you know? <laughs> Just kind of runs us down. I hope we're going the right way. We got to the station. Hey, nice. We got a pair of shoes next to the track. Yeah, I think someone jumped in front of the train. That's what that scream was. Ooh, a tape player. Play tape. So we can now play our lost tape.
This is kind of interesting. I like this game so far. It's actually quite cool. Alright. It's like a found footage tape. Is this the pound that we heard about? I wonder. Oh! Man! Yeah, look, some like demonic dog. Okay. We can still whistle. I wonder if our dog's in here. Wow, okay, that's loud. Oh, we can go this way now. Oh, look at all these dogs in their cages. They look dead. It's kind of sad. Oh, is this our dog? Examine. I need bolt cutters. Always need bolt cutters in these horror games. I'll go and find some then, I guess. I'll try to. Here we go. That wasn't too hard. Bolt cutters picked up. Now we go all the way back to our little friend Chester. I'm going to free you, boy. Here we go. Oh, he's quivering. What the heck? All right, let's get you out of here. Let, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Oh, he's going. He's disintegrating. Is that the end of the tape? That's it. That's kind of strange. Like, so we went to this pound. We freed our dog with the bolt cutters, but then he disappeared. Hmm. Very strange indeed. We've got another save point. I'm not going to save it quite yet. I don't know if we only get like one opportunity to save, so I won't save it yet. Oh look, we've got a note in here. This whole station is just broken. Lines run backwards, access panels are hard to get to, and sometimes the power just cuts. Since this is considered a bad part of town, the funding for this station was minimal and most of the construction was done by local residents. To top it off, the very last maintenance guy messed up everything. He told me when he left to keep every light on and to either redirect or send off any trains that arrived. I've made several attempts to fix the electrical problems, but it's so bad, I don't think I'm getting anywhere. So I'm leaving this job, it just isn't worth the hassle anymore. So this station's in a right mess. Of course it is. Now we're going to have to pick up the pieces, I think. There's a key here though, a metro key. And another note. If the power goes out on the tracks, you have to reboot the whole system. In order to do that, go to each section and turn off the breaker boxes and then come back to here and restart the system. I've barely been able to keep the power on, so that's all the advice besides quitting I can give. So we have to turn all the power off, which is going to make things very dark. And then come back and flip the switch on this breaker box. We've got a map as well. Can we take it? Yes, press M to check your map. It's kind of a confusing map system, but hopefully we get on okay with it. I'm going to go upstairs, guys. Oh, we've got another little note here. This is from the 2nd of the 14th 07 again. I want to make a decision. I want control back in my life. I want to matter. Everybody just makes choices for me. Maybe I'll find some place where I can be happy. Some place dark, without people to remind me how ugly I am. Hmm. I'm sorry it says at the end. So, I don't know who those notes are from. I always wonder if they're like meant to be from our character. You know, as we've been in therapy, maybe they have a low self-image or something. We've unlocked the gates though, we're upstairs now. Yeah, I don't know what really to expect. It sounds like we're going to have to turn the lights off on the breaker boxes. I'll go this way first. Okay, it's very quiet. Very, very quiet. Ooh, what is this? A pick lock set picked up. A pick lock is a weird way to say lock pick, right? You can examine this. A few books about customer service, okay. Yeah, look, there's a, a poster here saying lose it for weight loss. Lose pounds fast. So it seems like all the posters in this place are about losing weight. Diets. The trick is to stop all eating. I wonder if we were meant to be in like the mind of this character that's gone to the therapist. 
Locked from the other side. Okay, we can go through there. Can we pick this lock? Yep, looks like it. Man, it takes a long time to pick the lock though. Success. All right. We can go through here. I don't know why I went through the door that I didn't pick the lock on first. This does not feel good. This is very dark in here and very confined. Guys, if something comes for us, at least we have a gun, right? That's the way to look at it. We have a gun, we can shoot stuff. Although it says it's a damaged gun, so I don't know if it's going to work very well. Man, I hate this so much. I don't even know how to fire the gun. This is taking way too long. Yay, success. Good. We opened it. What is that sound? Um, anyone here? Hopefully not. Okay, we've unlocked this. Wait. I'm confused. We've just come out onto the platform again. It didn't seem like there was anything to do down there. Let me check in here. Ah, this is one of the breaker boxes we have to flip, I think. There we go. So there are the lights out in this area. Wait, what the heck? I can't go back that way. Do I have to go this way? I think we have to go this way to escape, because we can't go back through the turnstile. And there's going to be an enemy down here now. I can hear something moving about. Oh my god. Please no. Please no. Please no. I'm running. I'm not even looking. I'm not even looking. I'm not even looking. Just go. What is that enemy? Oh my god. Guys, did you see that? I didn't even get a proper look at it. It was like a freaking floating thing. We escaped. We just got out of there. I shot it once with a gun. I don't know even know what that was, but I don't think that's going to be the last we'll see of that thing. I almost guarantee there will be more of those weird floaty things. Right, this seems to lead us downstairs. So the question is, yeah, this is back to the main platform, so we don't want to go down here yet. Or oh, wait, is this the platform we've already been to or not, actually? Let me check. No, this is different. This is different. Okay, interesting. Can't go that way. Ooh, we can go this way. We can go through this train, look. What's that? It's got a glowing thing over here. Shotgun! No way! Like a pol uh, police issue shotgun. How do we cycle weapons? Nice. I'll take the shotgun. Just in case anything attacks us, you know? It's good to have... Got quite a lot of ammo for it as well. It's good to have a shotgun. This area... Is like the maintenance tunnels, I think. What is this? Ooh, tape two, nice. Got a TV and some videotapes. What we need to find though is a second breaker box. We shut down one. I don't know how many there are. Probably three, right? There's usually three of something. Very, very quiet, which can be a good or a bad thing. Okay, we don't need to flashlight on right now. That's broken. Okay, that's broken. Is there anything that isn't broken? Ah, uh, I think we need more lock picks. Right, I'm gonna go down this way. There's gotta be some more of those little lock picks somewhere. This place is such a maze. I like feel 
it's going to be really hard to escape if we need to last minute. Here's the lockpick. Or the pick lock set, as it likes to be called. A lot of books on subway utilities and a few books about locksmithing. And a dead plant by the look of it. We do know though that we need to go back and pick the lock on the door down here, so that's our next stop. I think it might have been through here actually. Where was it? Here we go. Right, let's pick this lock. Our newly found lock picking set. Hey. Right, here we go. Breaker box number two. I'm actually going to check our map. So there are three breaker boxes we need to turn off, I think, and then the main breaker box we go back to lastly. So this will be the second, I think. Here goes nothing. We've got to get out of here now. There's going to be enemies, I guarantee it. Oh my god. Wow. Quick. Alright, we picked that lock. Are we safe? God knows. That was locked, man. That was... They padlocked a door behind us. Did you see that thing as well? It's like a floating body bag. Really creepy looking. What the heck? Wow, yeah, look, it's like a floating woman and you shoot her and she turns into a body bag. I don't even know where we're going, by the way. I have no idea. Is it this way? Yeah, this is the way we need to go. This is the train. So let's get back on the train. Oh my goodness, I can't even move around these boxes. Let me off. Oh! Let me out of here. Right. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Back up the stairs and into the main station. Here we go. Are we safe again? Yes. Let's reload. I'm so glad we got that shotgun. Okay, let me just take a look at the map. So we're now here. In the main area of the station. I'm going to go through this door. I don't know if we've done this area now. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is a new area, I think. This should be the last area we need to cover before we escape. We've got to remember that the enemy doesn't seem to come out until... You know, it, they don't seem to come out until we turn the lights off. And I'm wondering if the enemy is the ghost of that girl that jumped in front of a train. You know, we see her shoes on the platform. She turns into a body bag when we shoot her. If so, which makes sense. And she seems to be like a floating spirit, so it kind of makes sense that the girl that jumped in front of a train is the sort of spirit chasing us in these tunnels. What's this? Read. I don't know what to do. I'm not happy. And everyone treats me like I'm not even real. They're so pretty and perfect and they all have friends, but I'm just here. That's from the 11th of 15th 06. Hmm. I keep waiting for something to jump out of these toilets and like try and harass us or something, but nothing ever does. What happened here? Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Like that's like a baby changing station. It's covered in blood for some reason. Can't even remember where we came in from. This seems like the right way to go. A long corridor where we're probably going to get lost. They're all broken. Can we go in here? Yep. Oh, here it is, the breaker box, and we've got a note. It was a slow day when it happened. Only two trains even stopped here, and I didn't see her until it was too late. I heard her sobbing as she walked down the tracks. I wanted to run and save her, but I could hear the train. I just waited and listened. She must have regretted it at the last moment because I heard her scream. 
I can't stop her. She passes through the walls. All I can do is wait and listen. Yeah, the ghost we've been encountering, that is the ghost of a girl who sort of uh, jumped in front of a train there. So guys, as soon as we initiate this, she's going to jump out. So let's be ready. Go. She's going to be coming for us, remember. Ah! Go. Quick, run. Right, now we just need to get to the other side of this area. Through these doors. Okay, I think we need to go this way now, maybe? Yes, this is the right way because the lights are still on. So now, we should be able to go and finish up this level, I think. We can activate the final generator. Before that, I want to actually play the tape, which is Lost Tape 2. So let's see what Lost Tape 2 has in store for us. So we found this, of course, during our adventure. Ooh, okay, this is strange. Where are we? Is this some kind of like asylum? Not a very well kept one. What the heck is that? Is that like an apparition or like a spirit? This is like a hospital, look. That's like someone's stats, someone's like heartbeat and stuff. Yeah, and then there's a blood bag there. It looks like almost like a morgue as well. There's like bodies under sheets here. What's this? Why am I here? Ah, oh, okay, so if you look at it, it actually translates. Why am I here? Yeah. I'm going to go back to the other one. I'm going to see if we can actually hear what that one said. Because that's interesting. Oh yeah, look. What? I am not sick. It's kind of freaking me out. If you hear me like stumbling over my words a little bit, guys, it's because I'm a bit scared right now. This game is actually quite scary. Let's keep going this way. And see if we can find another one of these weird apparitions. Let me out. I wonder if these are like the inner thoughts of our own character. I think all this stuff pertains to our own character. That's why we hear from a therapist at the start. And I think maybe a lot of this is just in our character's head perhaps. But I'm not sure. Like I'm just making assumptions right now. <laughs> based on very little evidence. Oh. Bit flashy. Don't know what that's all about. But another one. Something's wrong with them. Okay. So these kind of give us a bit of a story, I think. These little voice clips and cassette tapes, they give us a little bit of a story that we otherwise wouldn't perhaps get. I'm just waiting for something to jump out of the vents and get us... I don't know what it would be, like a giant rat maybe would come out, <laughs> or a dog. Just something scary out of the darkness, basically. Don't know which way to go. It's like a maze. A maze of the mind. Oh, this isn't sounding good. Wow, look at that. It's like a spirit. What the heck? Oh, it's not a spirit. It's like a meaty... Wow, there's loads of them. What the heck? What is this place? Very strange. I have no idea what just happened. Either way, we're finally going to go and save the game now because it feels like a really good time to save. So let's go into the peaceful, relaxing room. I like this place. 
I keep looking around to see if anything's changed in here, you know, but I don't think it has. There we go, game saved. So now we can do the final generator, which should be around here. Here we go, guys. Moment of truth. Is this worked? The light didn't go out, so that's promising. Hopefully we can get back on that train and keep going with our adventure. Oh, hello. Is she still trying to get us or is she this thing happening to her now? No, I think she just, she's gone. I think we might have freed her spirit. Now we just got her shoes on the train track. The train's coming, I think. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Nice. Oh, and it opens right where the shoes are. Interesting. Well, hopefully we freed the spirit and it's now at peace, you know. I guess we go on with our adventure back on the train. I feel like soon will be a, a good place to end episode one. Because we've done quite a lot, haven't we, in this episode? I think we'll do the next section and then we'll wrap things for today. But I am enjoying this game. It's very interesting as a concept. Can we do anything while we're on the train now? We still can't get into this conductor room. So let's head back to the other side of the train. He makes me feel so much better sometimes, but I worry I'm not good enough. He wants me to lose weight, and I'm really trying, but it's just so difficult. I look in the mirror and nothing's changed from the 12th of 22nd 06, so I think it's meant to be a girl in this story by the look of it, and she's got a boyfriend now, and he is trying to get her to lose weight. She's not happy with her weight either. Basically not a really nice boyfriend by the sound of it. But yeah, it's interesting because it seems like this story is all about like the mental scarring this character faced during her battle with weight loss. Wait a second. You know, body image and all that. Man, I don't know what that flickering is. I do not like it. Okay. That is very flashy. So we can't go that way. We're outside the train as well. Like what's going on? I'm trying to find somewhere we can get off the train track because I feel like if we don't, you know, we're going to get flattened any second. What's that sound? Oh, we've got a station again. This one is much more, I don't know, Victorian era looking, right? Another map. Look at this. Grand... Bullim Avenue. All right. I'm going to continue a little bit further on. Man, this is creepy looking already. We've got, we've got heads. Look at this. One, two, three heads. Okay, weird. That one's broken. So those two heads will go back. This one is broken. Looks like we need to fix it somehow. So how are we going to fix it? It won't open. It's covered in some kind of slime. We go through this. Can we smash it open? It's just a seat down there. Just a chair. I'll go this way, guys. The door feels hot. Huh. Interesting. Oh, wait. There's something there I can pick up. Ah, we've got like acid or something. I don't... I don't know what this is. Oh, we just slipped. Did we just burn ourselves? What the heck? I feel like we just burned ourselves. Have we died? Game over. Wow, that's creepy continue. So we're back in the save room. That's kind of mad. I didn't actually expect to die that easily. I was just trying to carry the 
acid around the uh, the slime, you know, and it just slipped over. Oh my god, what the heck are these things? That's like mirrors, I think. Mirrors with our reflection in. This is all coming together now, so we have these these enemies now here that sort of reflect our, you know, ourself in them. It seems our character had a bad, you know, negative body image. They didn't like the way they looked, so it makes sense actually to have mirrors as enemies. Wait, is this meant to be us? Is this us all melted down? We've got maggots all over us now. That's nuts. So we got burned by the acid. The door feels too hot. We can't go through that door. We now got a flickering light in there as well. Can we go through the door here now? Yeah, we've managed to burn the stuff off the door at least. And we got another one of these mirrors. Man, I feel like I'm wasting too much ammo on them, you know? I'm <laughs> just like wasting all my ammo there. Alright, things are heating up. Where is the story going next, I wonder? Anything here? Nope. We're on the train track again. Express shuttle. Okay, Did we go to the train? Something about this train unnerves me. And it's blocking the tunnel. I reckon this train's gonna start moving or something, guys. I'm gonna run. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, we got a note, though. Page one. Life was too harsh. Love was lost forevermore. They hung from a ceiling fan, staring at the floor. So somebody's hung themselves after losing their love. Okay. Could that be our character? I don't know. Oh my god! What the heck? Man, that train just attacked us, what? Oh my god, we've got another one. I can hear it. Another train. Guys, what the heck is this game even? Boom. Boom. It's gone, it's gone, it's running. This game is so weird. Alright, we killed it. Man, that took a lot of shooting. I don't know how we survived that. We've actually got somewhere we can go under here as well. I think we maybe weren't meant to kill that train. <laughs> maybe we were meant to just kind of like... I don't know, hide from it, but... We killed it. Who cares, right? Rock on. I can't believe we just shot two trains. I didn't think I'd be saying that in this episode. Shooting trains. At least then they don't look like Thomas the Tank Engine or something that would freak me out more for some reason. His big smiling face, you know? Yeah, this game is strange. It's very, very strange. Well, I like it. I dig it. I don't quite know what's happening yet, but I'm, sh I'm sure we'll find out. Oh, we've got something here. What's this? Shotgun ammo. Nice. Just what the doctor ordered. That's broken. Okay, we can't go through there. What else? Is there another door? Oh, what the heck? What was that sound? A vending machine, restrooms... Okay. We went into some restrooms in the last episode. And got some interesting lore from them, so I don't know what's going to happen in this one. Another note. I don't know what to write. I'm not sure if it's good or bad. I don't know if it makes me happy or sad. I think we're going to have a child. Okay, so in the last episode we learnt that this character got herself a boyfriend, but he kept telling her to lose weight so he wasn't really nice to her. But it seems they were going to have ch a child together. Ooh, okay, dead rats in the toilet. And another note. Page 2. Life was too harsh and a bridge was close by. They sank in water, gaping for the sky. More cryptic poems there. Let's go to the other side. Um, here we go. Ooh, what's this? 
Handgun ammo, yay! I'm going to switch back to the handgun, actually. That's locked. I'm just waiting for a jump scare to be in one of these toilets. That one's locked. I feel like someone's gonna like leap out of that cubicle when we turn our backs. Yep. Oh, maybe not. It's a knife. An old kitchen knife has been picked up. Okay. Is that a weapon we can use? Let's have a look. Yeah, we can use it like a, a weapon. Sweet. Well, I'm gonna head back, guys. We picked up the knife. I don't know if that's gonna do anything, but we'll head back and see. Oh my god, okay. That's kind of crazy. Oh, it can come through the door. Ah! What the heck? Alright. Those things make the worst noises ever. I hate it. I thought we destroyed all the trains. I didn't know there were going to be more. I still don't get what we're meant to do in this area. I wonder if these heads are fixed now. Hey, it works! The head works now, guys. I don't know why it's been fixed, but after all that stuff we did in the other area, this head is now working. There's got to be like some kind of... Oh wait, there's a... a note. Life was too harsh. This job just wasn't fair. They laid an assembly with a sideways stare. Ah, okay, so sideways stare. So they've all got to be looking sideways maybe t all like looking to the left they laid an assembly with a sideways stare huh maybe oh okay that was weird we did something and now they're bleeding there's like blood coming out of their necks and the doors I'm guessing are unlocked. I'm gonna go and save the game before we proceed guys. I feel like we've made a lot of progress now, so it's a good time to save. Oh my god! We had a f I look like a, a fetus on the little table there. What the heck? I guess this story's about like a baby she lost maybe? Maybe that's the catalyst for her, you know, seeking therapy. I don't know, but that was kind of just a little bit disturbing, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Just go into that peaceful room and see that. At least we've saved the game though, right? No more of those damn mirrors floating about or the trains. Hopefully we can make some progress now. Okay. Oh, I can hear our dog again. Chester! He's this way. What's this? Handgun ammo? Yep. And a pick lock set. I don't know why they don't just call it a lock pick. But, you know, doesn't matter too much, just, just saying. Got a place we can go down here as well. Here we go. Pick for lock. Man, this feels a bit spooky. It's very dark. Too dark for my liking. Anyone there? I mean, you're probably gonna just try and jump us and... I don't know, scream in our faces, but if anyone was there and you just want to introduce yourself, you know? Peacefully, I might add. We've got a hole we can go through there. Okay. Should I go through it? I might have missed something the other way, I don't know. I, I kind of like to s explore fully before I before I go places that might cut me off from other places. Oh. Alright, this looks a bit sketchy. Almost looks like the walls are made of flesh or something's been tunneling through here, like a worm or something. The game's sound design is really good because it, it really 
manages to make it seem scary even when nothing's really happening. Like, I feel like something's behind us right now, but I don't want to look. So I'll just keep pressing forward. Just keep heading on. Okay, it seems like we're coming to the end of this tunnel finally. Ooh, okay, we're back into what looks to be more like a sewer area again. Very dark, but I can't see even with a flashlight very easily. I'm just gonna keep running. I wanna get out of this place. Oh! I don't like that. It sounds like a little... Oh, it's leeches. Okay. Leeches chasing us, guys. I'm running. I'm just gonna run. Screw these leeches. Ah! Oh my god. Alright, we shot them all. We got the leeches, guys. Man, that is nuts. I think they're leeches. They might be slugs, I don't know. But leeches... Leeches make the most sense. Pick broken? What are you talking about? No, we've got to search for another lock pick. Oh, it's open now. Okay, fair enough. Good. I'm not going to argue with that. Right, we're now in a lighter area. We don't need to flashlight. This is this is very good. Oh, okay. It's glitching out. The music's distorting a little bit. Right, we'll save the game. We'll save the game. There we go. Oh no, save erased. Wait, are you kidding me? It was a trick. It's erased our save data. Are you kidding me? No. I don't think the game would be that cruel, right? We have a note here anyway, the 2nd of the 8th 07. All he talks about is how ugly I've become, how ugly I'm going to be. He tells me he's leaving, so I'm guessing because she was pregnant, her boyfriend, who's a douchebag, kept saying that she was getting too fat and looking ugly and stuff. I feel so sick, he hates me now, and I have all this responsibility. All because of this parasite inside me, yeah, she's grown to resent the child because of how her boyfriend is treating her. I didn't think this would happen, I just did what I was told. I wanted him to be happy with me. He's not good enough for you. You are ma way better than this guy, so don't worry. I hate people like this, but... Oh! Okay, can I leave? No! Oh my god! Can I... Oh my god, I can't even escape him! Are you kidding me? I'm dead, guys. That was insane. Continue. I hope it hasn't erased our save data. Actually has erased our save data. Oh no, it hasn't. So how are you feeling? I feel like everyone hates me, and I hate myself. Your sense of self-worth is too influenced by body shape and weight. You don't judge others so harshly. You have worth. You have beauty, but you are unable to see it. Your vision of yourself is distorted. Then how should I fix it? If I can't fix my body, then how do I fix my vision of myself? We are working together to fix it. So this is her therapist speaking to her. But I will also write you a refill of the fluxetine. I think that was pronounced. Okay, so the game did save, but it made it seem like it hadn't saved because it went to what I thought was the message from the start of the game. I was stressing then, as you could probably hear in my voice, guys, I was like, no! You can't throw all my gameplay away, that's nearly two hours worth. But uh, it hadn't done, luckily. I don't think it has. I think we were meant to die at that boss. I got really flustered then, as you could probably tell. I stopped talking for a while, because I was just like, I don't want to die to this thing if our save is erased. But it was like this giant leech thing that was um, attacking us. I definitely think these monsters all like are symbolic at this point. So the giant leech monster kind of represents the people leeching on this woman like her boyfriend and you know, the blood-sucking parasites that she felt her baby inside her was. But, you know, she obviously only felt that way because of how she perceived herself and how others were treating her, which is sad. 
Anyway, we are now back in this room. And we've got the note. Yeah, so we are back to where we were before. Are we going to have to face that boss again? Nope. So that was just a unwinnable boss encounter, I think, guys. Okay, interesting. We've got a room with a picture of a woman. I don't know if this is meant to be us. And a radio. And this way, because we've got two paths, we've got this distorted face. Now, I think we should try and take the path of, you know, the normal looking woman, not the distorted face. So we're going to go this way. Although this could be like a trap and we could be pursuing the path of beauty just like, you know, our character was in life. And because of that, it will lead to unhappiness. I don't know. Because, you know, you really should just be happy with how you are and how you look. You shouldn't chase some kind of idealistic image of yourself. That'll only lead to, uh, you know, to being miserable. You know, I, I always say there's nothing wrong with self-improvement. And, uh, you know, I like, for example, going to the gym at the moment and stuff. But you don't want to make it your sole reason to... Ah! You don't want to make it your sole reason to be around. So do we keep going this way, I wonder? That's what I'm wondering, you know. Do we keep following the path of her ideal self-image? Oh, we've got another mirror. So this is kind of like an enemy gauntlet at this point. I almost wonder if we should just go down the, diff the other path now. You know, just head down the path with the... Uh, like mangled face. Maybe we should try it. Let's go down this path instead and see if it actually advances the story. Because it just seems like the other one's looping and giving us loads of enemies to fight. Yeah, look. This one actually seems to lead us somewhere without enemies. Oh. Yeah, and look, now that face is distorting. Because we're like giving into the darkness, I guess. So this is her becoming influenced by all the negative thoughts. We're going down the path of negativity, but it's not actually giving us any resistance. Like we don't get enemies down this way. So it's almost like the path of negativity is easier for her to manage, you know? And it's actually rewarding us with ammo and stuff. It's quite a symbol. Like I said, it's very symbolic, this game. Interesting. And now we're going to see, yeah, look, her image is completely erased. And now we've just got this depressed, like, looking woman, which is, I guess, we've built up the depressed side of her, basically. It went from being a blur to being a realistic looking human face. Whereas her other happy side is now just smashed up and gone. And that music's playing more. So if we keep going down this side, we're going to probably get some more progress, I think. Oh, yeah, look, we've reached the end now. So what's this? Eat. We've got, like, a vending machine here. A toilet. And we can eat. This is like an... This looks like an apple, though. Oh. So if we eat, we are denied the exit from a room. So it's almost like, yeah, this is symbolic for her stopping eating so that she would lose weight. She basically starved herself. So we have to puke it back up. There you go. So, yeah, she basically became um, anorexic, I think. I think that's the right term. Where she wouldn't let herself eat. She would throw up after every meal. Oh, now we've got an enemy. The heck is that? That took a lot of shooting, man. That took four shotgun shells. So maybe instead of, like, eating it and then throwing it up, we just... Yeah, it's going to repeat. We just don't eat it and we just go through... Just go through the door without eating at all, maybe, this time. 
we're basically being rewarded with no enemies. Oh, no, we have got we have got two of these. We got killed. Guys, we died. Okay, guys, so after much playing and dying in this area, I finally figured out, I think, what we have to do. We actually have to eat the apple, and this will close up. But then we actually have to walk through it anyway. We can actually walk through the bars. So we're trying to defy, you know, the need to throw up our food. We're trying to actually help this character we're playing as eat and lead a normal life, you know. We're now picking up ammo. We've got ammo as a reward for eating the apple because we're not, you know, denying ourselves food to try and lose weight. And by being healthy, we're actually being able to progress without all these enemies being spawned at us. So this is kind of how you solve the puzzle. And it took me ages and ages to figure this out through dying and dying and dying. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> puzzle solved. We are getting shotgun ammo. This is awesome. All the ammo we need. And at the same time, we're being healthy because we're eating all these apples, you know? There we go. So let's keep going once again. No enemies in sight. No leeches trying to suck our blood. And here we go. It looks like we've made it out almost. Let's have a look what's in this room. Oh, we have, I think. Oh, God. There's the baby. Or oh, the fetus, I guess. Take it. All right, we're carrying it. Is it in our inventory now? It's not in the inventory, but we've taken it. Okay. Fair enough. Very strange, this game. But we'll keep going with it. We'll see where the story goes. I'm intrigued to see where it ends up, you know. Oh, no. Okay, we're back in the sewer. Oh! Wow. And we've got a spirit. Okay. Is that the spirit of the girl we saw in the first episode that was chasing us around, I wonder? The one that stepped in front of the train? Might be. And now look, we can go down. It's a torn piece of my dog's leash. It's leading down into this underground area. Here we go. Right, let's keep going. Man, we're in the caves now. Where's this leading us to is a question. I like that music though. The music is peaceful now and it's kind of uh, soothing my nerves a little bit. My nerves feel a bit torn after all of that kind of craziness with the leeches and stuff back there. Here's another note. This one says, I waited in the dark for so long. I lashed out against anyone who got close. But someone kept pushing me into the light. It hurt me for a while, but it doesn't hurt anymore. And that's from the 3rd of 16th, 2022. Wait, that's today's date, guys, as I'm recording it. So it's like, what's that noise? Got a, I can hear a weird creeping noise. So it's almost like the player is helping this character out in real time. Like, we're actually helping her get out of a hole she found herself in. Quite literally. <laughs> and that music's a bop as well. This is that kicking in now. It's like we're on the path to righteousness now. You know, we're going to solve this character's problems with her. Yeah, look. There's like a nice ethereal image on the TV. You can go through here. Not a save point, though. Can't go back. Man, I wish I'd checked and seen if there was a save point back there. That's locked. We've got three things that we need to place into this doorway by the look of it. Some chains there. Ooh, a tape player. This looks like a save room. Yes, we're in a save room. I love it. Let's save the game. We can take a moment to chill. We finally got out of a weird looping area with the leeches. We got through the caves and it seems like we're on the track to salvation for this character. She's been through a lot and we're going to actually help her get back to good health, which is awesome. 
Okay, guys, well, I think I'm going to leave it there for episode one of Lost in Vivo. This game seems to have an intriguing plot, which involves the mental state of this character. And yeah, we're seeing some really cool monster designs. We get like little backstories to each of the monsters that we've encountered, which is awesome. And I really, really dig this. I like the kind of feel of it as well. It feels very much like a classic PS1 era horror game with a little bit of a modern twist, obviously. And generally, I'm just really enjoying it. So hopefully you'll join me for part two, which will come in the next few days and we'll continue our adventure from there. But with that said, this has been part one of Lost in Vivo. If you enjoyed it, then tip the like button, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.